filming adult salmon in the ocean is nearly impossible. Water clarity in the ocean is rarely clear enough to see the fast-moving adult salmon. Salmon of the upper Sacramento River watershed enter the Pacific Ocean early in their lives. Some will arrive at the ocean within a few months of hatching, while others may take up to a year and a half to reach salt water. They start as small eggs deposited far upstream in the clear, cool waters of the river and creeks. The young salmon hatch and soon start to swim downstream to the ocean. Younger salmon tend to stay near the bays and estuaries that produce large amounts of smaller food. As salmon grow, they move offshore to feed on larger prey in the open ocean. They typically feed in schools, following schools of smaller fish or whatever prey species are available, and are opportunistic feeders, switching from one prey species to another depending upon ocean conditions. Salmon appearance in the ocean is very different from their appearance in the river. Ocean fish have bright silver coloring with greenish tinted backs, making it harder for predators to see them. Once in the river, they lose this silver color and become dark brown or even red. As the salmon near maturity in the ocean, they gather near San Francisco to begin their long journey upstream to the creek or river where they were hatched. As the salmon enter freshwater, they stop eating food. Some salmon will become sexually mature in the ocean while others will wait until they arrive at their spawning areas to mature. Their color darkens so that they blend in with the river bottom. Having adjusted to the freshwater in the San Francisco Bay Delta area, they leave the ocean fish like these starry flounder behind and begin their final trip. The following chapter shows the different faces of the Sacramento River from its end near the Golden Gate Bridge to its start near Mount Shasta.